next is the naming for cycloalkene. Okay, so basically, the basic role is still the fourth step. The first one is longest continuous carbon chain. Second one is numbering. Third one is locate and name your branch. And the last one, alphabetical order. This is the basic rule for naming, okay, for nomenclature. So you will use this rule, okay. So for cycloalkene, okay, I give you one example. Okay, this compound. Okay, and then this compound. Okay, A and B. So for A, remember class, the first step is you have to check your longest and continuous. Okay, so this is cyclic structure. This is a cyclic open end, close end. Okay, so open end dengan close end ataupun cyclic dengan a cyclic ni, dia tidak boleh dicampurkan. Okay, cannot be combined. So, meaning that, bila you nak calculate ataupun you nak find your longest carbon chain, you can asingkan cyclic dengan acyclic. So, for example, this one. So, this is your cyclic structure. Wherever yang dekat luar ni, semuanya adalah acyclic structure. So, meaning that cannot be combined. So, bila you nak kira carbon awak, Okay, so you can just calculate, okay, you ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, cyclic awak 5 carbon. The cyclic awak dekat sini ada 1 carbon, yang ini adalah bromine. Okay, so meaning that paling panjang is cyclic. Okay, your first step you dapat longest awak adalah cyclic. Okay, kita pergi yang nombor 2. Okay, so this is you punya cyclic carbon. Okay. So, you punya longest carbon adalah 1, 2, 3, 4. Ingat eh. Kalau skeletal, bucu adalah carbon. So, this is for carbon. Okay. For a cyclic ataupun non-cyclic, you kena kira macam yang tadi. Okay. Mesti longest and continuous. So, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, yang paling panjang adalah 7. Kalau you kira 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, rendah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Rendah. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Tapi still yang 7 lebih panjang. So, second one, you dah dapat dah. Cyclic awak 4. Non-cyclic awak 7 carbon. So, awak punya longest carbon chain adalah a cyclic. Ataupun non-cyclic. Okay. So, boleh bezakan ni A dengan B. So, first step tetap you kena consider longest carbon number. Second step nak buat apa? You kena check your numbering. Numbering branch lowest. Okay. So, kalau cyclic dia sama ada clockwise atau counterclockwise. You akan dapat numbering yang sama. Okay. Untuk this case. So, 1, 2, 3. Ataupun 1. Saya guna color lain. Ataupun yang akan dapat 1, 2, 3. Still number yang sama. 1 dan 3. So, kalau numbering sama, you kena tengok pada alphabetical order dalam step numbering. So, kalau warna hijau, huruf number 3 huruf B, number merah, oh sorry, number 1 huruf M. Okay. For the purple colour, number 3 is B, number 1 is, sorry, purple colour, number 3 is M, number 1 is B. 
So the correct one is purple. Okay. Sebab uh, number one dia pada huruf B. Okay. So and then. So your third step adalah locate and name your branch. So you dah dapat. Okay kita abaikan dulu yang warna hijau ni. Okay. So you dah dapat number purple. Okay carbon number three adalah methyl. Okay, carbon number one adalah bromo. Okay, so step number four, you kena susun ikut alphabetical order. So, M dengan B, so B dulu. So, one, bromo. Okay, huruf dengan nombor, you kena dash. And then, three, methyl. So, your longest is 5 carbon. Kalau 5 carbon, dia adalah pentin. Pentin bila dalam bentuk straight chain macam ni. Okay. Tapi bila cyclic, kena tambah cyclo. So, 5 carbon jadi cyclo pentin. So, this is your compound name. 1 bromo, 3 metal, cyclo pentin. Okay. And then let's say for B. So sama juga first step dah dapat dah. Yang straight chain ni adalah you punya uh, longest carbon number. So longest dia adalah 7 heptane. Okay and then you kena buat numbering untuk branch. So step yang sama. Okay. So saya guna pen colour biru lah. Okay. So Step yang sama. Kalau you tak sure, you can try daripada dua-dua arah. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. Okay. Kalau arah yang berbeza. Okay, you dapat. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh. Okay. So, kalau color orange, you dapat carbon number three. Carbon number four. Carbon number 5. So, if blue colour, you will get carbon number 3, carbon number 4 and carbon number 5. Numbering yang sama. So, masa ini kena guna step yang sama. You kena check alphabetical order untuk kedua-dua numbering. So, kalau biru, yang ini adalah butane. Bentuk cyclic, so dia cyclo butane. So, dia huruf. C. Okay. Seterusnya adalah M dengan M. Okay. So, kalau warna orange tadi. Okay. Carbon number 3 dia adalah M. So, M, C. So, yang betul adalah warna biru. Okay. This one is the correct numbering. Okay. So, numbering dah settle. Okay. So, colour biru yang betul. Okay, so next kita pergi ke name and locate your branch. Step number 3. Okay, so step number 3. You, tadi ada 3 cyclo. Okay, 4 carbon butin tapi sekarang dia dah jadi branch. So, dia jadi cyclo butil. Okay, next for you ada metal. 5 pun you ada metal. Since you ada metal yang sama, 4 metal dengan 5 metal, so you boleh gabungkan dia jadi 4, 5 dimetal. Kalau 3 jadi trimetal, kalau 4 jadi tetrametal. So you have to remember, number dengan suffix yang tambah ni kena sama. Kalau di maksudnya kena dua number, even though dia 4, 4 dimetal. Alright, so and then the last one is uh, step number 4. Alphabetical order. Okay. So, alphabetical order, you kena consider alphabetical order untuk you buat naming. Okay. So, uh, three cyclo dulu, baru four five metal. Sebab kita lihat kata dasar pada huruf M. Bukan huruf D. Alright. So, full name dia akan jadi one, sorry, three cyclo butyl. Butyl sebab dia branch. Okay. And then dash four five. Dimethyl 
Number dengan number you kena comma. Huruf dengan huruf you kena rapatkan. So longest carbon chain awak adalah six carb sorry seven carbon. So dia akan jadi heptit. Okay. So this is your name for this structure. Okay. Are you pet name for this structure? So you boleh refer by the notes. Okay. Uh, I think all the explanations that I explained with the examples. Okay. Notes you boleh refer dekat sini. Okay. So lagi satu yang ini kita tak pilih you punya cyclic structure as parents because your a cyclic structure is longest. Okay, sorry, longer than cyclic structure. So, this one, kenapa you pilih uh, straight chain as your parents? Satu, sebab dia longest carbon chain dia lebih panjang pada non-cyclic. The second one, sebab dia ada functional group. So, you kena pilih yang ada functional group as your parents chain. Okay, this is some examples. The other two is correct and incorrect. So, nanti you boleh baca dan analyze. Okay, another example juga. Okay, and then nak drawing structure. Okay, drawing structure paling mudah. Okay, as compared to naming. Naming, you have to consider several steps. Okay, so for example, yang structure yang kita dah bagi nama tadi. And then from the name, kita nak convert balik pada structure. So, what you have to do. So, first step, sama juga pergi check dulu you punya parents name. So, help. Ten. So, maksudnya tujuh carbon draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Second step, you buat apa? Tadi pun, first you cari longest. Second, you buat numbering. So, second step, you kena buat numbering. Okay. Six, seven. And then last part, you pergi dekat dia punya substituents. Apa yang dia ada? Carbon number four, kena ada one metal. Carbon number five, kena ada one metal group. Carbon number 3 kena ada cyclobutyl. So, tarik cyclobutyl structure macam ni. Okay. So, you dah dapat dah structure you in just less than 10 seconds I think. Okay. So, you boleh refer balik pada structure atas. Sama tak? So, you will get the same structure. So, that's why saya kata naming ni mudah. Okay. For another example. Yang ini pula, kita try buat. Okay, sama juga step from parents name. Cyclopentane. So, cyclo yang ada 5 carbon. And then buat numbering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then locate your branch. BR pada carbon pertama. Metal pada carbon kedua. So, dah settle. Less than 10 seconds. Alright. So, kalau you tengok structure pun. Sama je. Walaupun you nampak macam different sikit, berubah sikit bentuk dia. Tapi kalau you cuba, you try to name it, dia akan jadi compound yang sama. Okay. So, for example, ni juga hexane. First kali draw 6 carbon. So, you dapat straight chain 6 carbon. Okay, macam ni. And then carbon number 2, letak metal. Carbon number 4, letak metal. So, settle. So, this is an, uh, another exercises that you boleh try okay, untuk drawing. Okay, so for the next video, I can continue with methods of preparations. Okay, so thank you guys.